Hi friends, in the last video we have seen uh, class name attribute. In this video we are going to see ordinary attribute. If you really like this video, please subscribe it and please refer to your friends. And moreover, please stay with us. Uh, like we are going to add like um, almost all attributes under Win32 mode as well as HTML mode, Active Accessibility mode, Region mode, including Java mode also. Okay, let me go to Blue Prism. So let me create one business object for this one to explain ordinal attribute. So to explain this attribute, the best application is training other system which it is designed and developed by Blue Prism or application modeler. Click on next. So launch. So keep my application modeler and the application side by side. And let me capture like a highlight, identify, and then capture the window. Let me assign a name for the like sign in window. Add element so identify the staff number apply and click on add element identify capture the field let me assign a name for this one like a staff number field Click on add element, identify, capture the password label, and click on add element, so identify, and password field. Then yard element, click on identify, then capture the sign in button, click on apply and then ok. So for this one, let me design a login process. To login to application, then close this window. So navigate then launch application the drag and drop the root one and select click launch next one activate application So you activate then OK then so drag and drop one more navigate stage it's so like And before that, let me create like a two data items for this one. One is for username, another one is password. Drag and drop two data items here. So one is username. Data type is text. And you can assign a name, let's say like a blue prism. the password the data type is password and assign any value the blue prism 
then ok and by using write stage we can pass inputs to an application okay write stage then map it so username and then so element is like a staff no staff number field say like a staff number and I click on okay next so repeat the same procedure for password also drag and drop password value here the password field is here and then assign a name for this one password then click on ok and then log into an application click on press Okay, link all stages. Then reset it. You can see like on zero errors. And then let me run like a step by step. Okay, let me run up to this point, run to this stage. Now the application is launched. And run to this stage. So application is activated. If if you can see then run up the password so it's giving us an you know, internal exception that is failed to perform step one in right stage staff number on page action one more than one window match the query address means it's not able to identify we'll see good application model the staff number field If you click on okay, highlight, it's identifying like you know, two elements. It's unable to identify like you know, the right element for the staff number. So in that case, we'll go for ordinal number. So choose an ordinal attribute. Then it's an unique attribute. Ordinal is an unique attribute. And then click on like match index. You can see the ordinal value like three. And apply. And if you click on like a highlight the corresponding object is then highlighted then click on ok and then so reset it once again reset it close application and run up to this one and again so run up to password now the blue prism is able to send like you know, inputs to an application and let me execute this one to execute this one like a run, use like a run to this stage and it's working fine then click on like you no know, run to this stage now you can see the application is logging okay and thank you for watching please stay with us for like a four uh, like you know, for more attributes under win32 mode thank you